Hello everyone. Today we are launching a new data challenge and I will very briefly explain what exactly it means. So there is a data link just below this video. So you can copy that and paste it in a browser. So it is going to take you to this page, which is about 2020 classification data challenge. And the main objective is to predict if a customer will click buy on a website or not. So basically response variable here is a column named buy. And when the value is zero, that means customer did not click on buy. And when buy equals one, that means customer did click on buy button. So the idea is to develop a machine learning model using independent variables which capture customer background information and also customer website navigation behavior. So there are so many columns capturing all this information and using that we want to predict response or target, which is whether the customer ends up clicking buy or not. And in your data set, the first variable is basically unique identification ID. We have numbered each customer from one, two, three, and so on. If you go to data, you'll find there are three files there. The first file is a sample submission.csv file. So this is how your submission CSV file should look like. So it should have two columns. The first column should be ID, which is in your test data. And the second column should be predicted value. So for each customer in the test data, a predicted value could be zero or one. If you look at test data, it has uh, various columns and the variables are named from V2, V3 and so on. And in train.csv, you have one more column, which is the last column. So the last column is by. So if you want to look at that, you can see it may be zero or one. So that's the column to be predicted. This challenge will be active for about three months. When you click on my submissions, you can see that you have up to five submissions per day. And depending on the result, your score will change. Let me download this test.csv file. And I'm going to go to RStudio. So let's open RStudio. So in test, let's read .csv file.choose. header equals true. So this is the file we just now downloaded. So I'm assuming that you have already made a machine learning model and now you want to apply that model to test data. And based on that, you will get predictions. So if you look at test data, you'll notice that the first column is ID and there are 1,715 observations and 86 variables. But in your submission file, you don't need data on all the variables, but you definitely need the ID column. So let's say I want to create this submission file and I want to store first of all, Test dollar sign ID in it. So that will be one column. So let me say that this submission is a data frame. And I want to create a column called predicted.
where I will store my predictions using the machine learning model that I have. So I'm assuming that I already have a model and then I have the predictions. And let's say my predictions are just one. So I'm going to store that in submission file. So if you look at uh, this submission file, it has two columns. So first one, it has uh, renamed as submission, but we can always change that to ID. And the second column is predicted. So let's write this as a CSV file. Let me get my working directory to check where it is going to save. So right now it's going to save on desktop. So I'm okay with that. But, but if you want to save somewhere else and you want to specify that, so let's say, so this is my working directory and we will save this submission and the name of the file will be submission dot csv so when i run and go to my desktop so there is this submission dot csv file so i'm going to open this we see that it has also created first column Actually, we don't need that, we can delete it. And the first column we can name as ID, uppercase I and lowercase D. And the second column is predicted. So let me save this. And then we can go to the competition website and click on submit predictions. So note that it has to be a CSV file. So let's click and choose submission.csv that we just now created. So it says that it has read it. Version one of my submission or any other note like which machine learning method you used. So you can say my submission. So it says that uh, the file has uploaded and the score is about 0.5. So if you want to see what is your position on the leadership board, you can jump to your position on the leadership board. And you can also directly go to leadership and see, so who are the people who are at the top? So this was a quick overview of this uh, data challenge. And I hope you are able to maintain your top position for next three months and win this competition. So thanks for your interest and good luck.